My name is Sean Howard, and this is an Up With Pup video. This protocol is about reinforcing our dog for choosing an alternate behavior when dealing with something that stresses them. It involves introducing them to a stressful item at a distance that is easy for them to tolerate, and then using relief from the stressor to reinforce the alternate behavior. In simpler terms, we can teach a dog that lunging and snarling at other dogs is not as successful a strategy as turning to check in with us. Before we begin, we have to recognize that our dog's displays of aggression are simply strategies our dog is using to respond to something that stresses them. They are trying to protect themselves, and every time they practice these behaviors and they don't die or the stressor leaves them alone, it is proof to them that the strategy they've chosen is an effective one. So when do we use this protocol? We would commonly use this protocol with dogs that find other dogs highly stressful or overly arousing. It is important that we work with our dog below threshold. This means that there must be a reasonable distance at which our dog can see another dog and not go ballistic. This is Trish and her beautiful dog Hamish. Here we see Hamish is 40 feet from the other dogs. Hamish is interested in the other dogs and clearly knows that they are there, but he is not lunging and barking. So this is a good distance to start with Hamish. We place cones every five or so feet, starting at 40 feet away from the other dogs. If your dog goes over threshold when she sees a dog over 100 feet away, I would refrain from following this protocol and speak to a certified behavior consultant for assistance. There are a few challenges in teaching clients how to implement BAT on their own. Some have to do with how to create a safe environment for practicing it, and others have to do with the complexity and confusion around the protocol. In this video, we are going to show a simplified and easy to follow approach to BAT. I highly recommend you work with a certified behavior consultant before implementing any protocols to modify aggressive or highly fearful or stressed behavior. As in all things, if you feel that this protocol is making things worse, stop it at once. Before we begin the simplified BAT procedure, we're going to start by reinforcing an alternative behavior that our dog is inclined or able to offer when exposed to the stressor at a safe distance. For most dogs, I start by getting a more reliable check-in behavior where my dog turns to look at me. We start far enough away that our dog notices the other stressor and easily maintains a calm sit beside us. Every time our dog looks at the stressor, we feed them a high-value treat chicken, steak, cheese, you name it. Dog looks, treats appear. If our dog is just looking at our treats, hide your treats behind your back. Dog looks, treats appear. We keep doing this until we notice that our dog is starting to look back at us before we can manage to get the treats to them. This will likely start to happen within 10 or 20 repetitions. If your dog is remaining 100% fixated and glued to the stressor, move further back, you are too close. Now we're going to begin the simplified BAT procedure. We find a safe starting distance where our dog is aware of the stressor, the other dogs, but is not overly concerned about them. In this case, we're starting about 40 feet back from the other dogs with cones placed every five feet. It's important that the other dogs be contained and not be able to run up and approach our dog. We're going to be walking forward to the first cone, but first, we want to ask our dog a question. Would they like to begin? We do this on every iteration by taking a partial step forward as Trish is demonstrating now. Hamish accepts her request, and so Trish and Hamish move to the first cone. It's important that Trish stops when she reaches the first cone, even if Hamish wants to proceed. Now Trish waits for a check-in from Hamish. The second Hamish turns his head even partially towards her, Trish will mark this behavior with a yes and then reward Hamish by running away together. It's super, super important that the runaway be a fun activity. Throw in your happy voice and have fun running away together. So let's see that again. Trish asks the question, walks, waits at the marker, watching Hamish closely for that head turn. And the second she gets that head turn, she's gonna mark it with a yes, and run away together for a party at the starting point. The first three times you do this procedure, reward your dog with a treat back at the starting point. 
After that, we're just going to use the running away from a stressor as the reinforcement, as Trish will now demonstrate. Ask, approach, wait, and then mark and run when you get that head turn. Yes! And remember to take a break between iterations and relax with your dog. Once you are seeing signs that your dog is quite relaxed at the first cone over many repetitions, you can try moving to the second cone. Here, Hamish is looking quite relaxed at the first cone. So now we're going to try going to the second cone. She asks, moves to the second cone, stops and waits, and then she marks with a yes and runs away. Yes! Nice, Trish, I love that one. It's important to not get greedy. It's better to do lots of repetitions at a far away cone than to try moving closer and closer all the time. Our goal is not to run up to the stressor, it is to teach our dog that the new strategy is an effective way to get relief from the stressor. In the case we're seeing right now, Hamish is too close. Trish has waited and waited and she is not getting a turn of the head. She has even made little sounds to no avail. So in this example, we would back it up and move further away for the next iterations. I really like this procedure for a number of reasons. First, it rewards a more acceptable strategy that our dog can choose when they feel like they're in a stressful situation. This is a tool for your dog. It also turns a dog and their handler into a working team. Our dog learns to trust that we will help them get out of a stressful situation if they ask us to do so with this alternative behavior. And finally, it allows the dog to have a sense of control in their world. They can choose to do another repetition just as they can choose to have the handler move away from something that stresses them. Please find out more or ask questions by visiting us at www.upwithpup.com.